Let's look now at the termination clause. On a uh, typical project, you're going to have a contract that says that you have a termination for default provision, and you're also going to have a termination for convenience provision. And that termination for convenience provision is the one that is uh, of most concern to us because it certainly allows a project owner or your client who might be a prime consultant to terminate the services of the design firm for its own convenience. For example, uh, the project funding didn't come through or any other number of reasons why the project owner may want to terminate the project and get rid of all the consultants and contractors and typically without having to pay a profit but would pay the normal expenses to terminate. What I'm seeing, however, is that in more and more of the owner-generated contracts, it states that the owner can terminate the contract for convenience, but it says nothing about paying the termination expenses that the design firm reasonably incurs in wrapping up, getting its project trailers off the site, paying its personnel uh, to get moved, uh, all the overhead, the general administrative cost, all these types of things that don't just simply go away you know, on, the, on a, a turn of a dime, they, they take time. They need to be paid for. I like to therefore put into the contract a simple provision that says that sure you can be terminated for convenience but you get paid your reasonable termination expenses. The AIA deals with termination expenses a little bit differently and at Article 9.7 of the B101 form, the AIA states the following.